Hi, everybody. Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to the Sweet Sounds of Reading online TV classroom, a place where you'll be learning how to break down the sounds inside of any words so that you'll be able to read anything. Now, today is a really, really important class in that we're going to review all of the 14 possible slide sounds and we're going to discover that five of these sounds are the most important sounds of them all. All right. So what we're going to learn today for level one students and we're going to relearn for level two and three students are the special names for these important slide sounds. And here's the thing. Of all the words in existence, each and every last word has to have at least one of these special friendly sounds, right? So no matter how big a word is or, no, or how small a word is, every single word has to have one of these slide sounds that you already know, all right? So what's great for you, my students, is this. By your knowing how to identify these slide sounds and by your practicing these sounds until they instantly snap into your mind and slide out of your mouth, you, you and you alone will have the key, the secret key to unlocking letter sounds and being able to read anything. How about that? So, before we get started, let's review the slide sounds, okay? So we've learned 14 different slide sounds so far. So what you and I are going to do together, we're going to go down the, the sounds, or I should say the slide sounds, on your um, computer here, on your monitor. We're going to slide through all 14 of these sounds, all right? Ready? Let's go. E, N, F, A, M, A. Good job, good job, good job. So now we've talked about the fact that slide sounds are your friend, right? Because slide sound gives you, the reader, extra time to sound out an unfamiliar word or a difficult letter, right? So if you slide sound, let's say, how can I say this? Slide sound lets you slide one sound into the next, but it gives you extra time when you're trying to figure out a word or sound, okay? So slide sounds are your friend. Now, are you ready for the big reveal? Are you ready to learn what five special sounds are the most important sounds of all the sounds, all the, the letter sounds? The alphabet sounds, the phonic sounds, or the letter sound codes. These five sounds are the most important. Ready for the big reveal? All right. Da -da -da -da. Here we go. And here they are. These five sounds are are the most important sounds, like as I mentioned over and over again. The reason I keep saying this because I want I want this to to to, to Get into your minds, right? When you master these five sounds, you know, the sky's the limit, all right? So, levels one, two, and three, who remembers these five sounds? I bet you do, right? So let's let's say them together, right? Count of three, then we're going to sound out each of these sound pictures. One, two, three, go. Eh, 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 ah, uh. Good job. Now, for my levels two and three um, students, what's the technical name? What's the name of these five types of um, letters, right? What's the group name? Vowel. They're vowel sounds, right? Now, for my levels one student, that might be a bit much. Or, or how do you how do you remember what a vowel is, right? I'll give you a really good another way to think of uh, these five sounds. These are taste sounds, okay? Right. So, I want you to think of these um, five sounds as taste sounds. What's taste? What does taste mean? Hmm? A taste is something that um, if, you, if you're eating something, it gives it flavor, right? It, 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 it makes something taste good, right? So, these five sounds, I want you to pretend, I want you to pretend or make believe that these five sounds um, give a word a good flavor, right? That tastes good, right? That helps slide these sounds out of our mouth, right? So 
were they not level one? Let's call level one. I want you to call them taste sounds. Levels two and three, I want you to refer to refer to them as vowel sounds. I want you to think of them as taste sounds. Okay. All right. So let's um slide these sounds, these five sounds together. Right. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start at the top sound and we're gonna end at the bottom sound. We're gonna slide one sound into the next sound. Ready? Let's do it at a count of three. One, two, three, go. A, e, e, a, a. Good job, good job. Now here's another thing for level two and three students that are already reading. I want you to pay close attention during our classes, right? So when I ask you what the what is the letter sound, I want you to make sure you give me the sound and not the letter name, okay? So listen closely, comprehend what's being said. That means understand what was being asked of you. And whenever I ask for the letter sound, make sure you make the sound. A, E, E, A, A, okay? All right. All right, let's let's look let's think about these letter sounds, these five key sounds in another in another way, right? These five sounds are the bridge. These are the, the bridge that links all words together, okay? Right? So when you think about what a bridge is, right? A bridge is um a structure that allows you to like walk over water, right? You can walk over water, right? It's like makes you magical, right? So I want you to think of words as as um troubled waters words in the water as, as um as trouble now not all words are some words can be hard words or some words can be easy words they can be long words or short words right but i want you to think of these um the words as water and the vowels or the taste um sounds as the bridge that links them together that allows you to to walk over the water allows you to link one sound into the next right now, for my levels two and three students, now you might recall a couple of times in, in past classes, I said the thing about these five special sounds, these vowel sounds, is that if you've got to guess who remembers the rest, the short sound is the best. And what I mean by this is that you want to develop a, a sound out system. That where you're automatically reading, you're automatically reading words or sounding out words, right? So we don't want you guessing all over the place. We want you to be consistent. You want to be consistent, right? That if you're consistent, that means you do the same thing over and over and over. It increases how fast you can read. It increases your comprehension. That means how you understand words, right? So if you see, let's say start. Let's start with this um, vowel sound here, this letter sound. What sound does this make? Ah. So if you come across an unfamiliar word and you see this ah, this letter, this letter, or this this letter sound, or this ah sound, and you're not sure, you're like, I don't know if this is saying ah or a, or I don't know what sound, oh, I don't know what sound this sound is making. If you have got to guess, right, I want you to guess the short sound, the ah sound. And the reason being is this, that, um, now that you know how to sound out words more fluently or more more smoothly, you're going to be thinking at the same time. You're going to be thinking and comprehending. So you're not going to be spending all that energy breaking down sound because you know how to be smooth and cool and how to link one sound to the next. So you're going to, um, as you're reading the word, if you, when you read the word, you're going to like, oh, I know what that word is. You're going to, you're going to do something called recall. Like, I've, I've heard of this word, and you're going to be able to figure it out. So we want you to be consistent. Again, if you got to guess, the short sound is the best. And um, what you're going to learn in future classes is, is that there are certain codes, there are certain letter sound codes that you're, you're going to be able to identify and look for to tell you when one of these sounds is making is making a different is saying a different name. Remember we talked about nicknames or nick sounds. So you're gonna learn these codes in the future. But in the interim, if you gotta guess, the short sound is the best. All right. So I think we've um, hammered that into your brain enough, right?
So, so let's go back to my level one students for a moment. I want to, again, I, I have to make sure we're all on the same page. My levels two and three, hang in there. Don't check out because this is a, this is a really important step. This is called decoding for any of parents or reader teachers in the room. This is step one in decoding, right? So I've broken it down so we can all understand it, right? So for my level one students, we're going to play a game. We're going to make believe we're making ice cream word cones, okay? Now, what two things that you, do you need to make an ice cream cone, right? What two ingredients? What two things? You need A, one, you need ice cream, B, or number two, you need a cone, right? So this is what you, I want you to think of the five special sounds that we've learned as ice cream sounds, right? Right? And remember we talked about these sounds are taste sounds. They give up. They give the word taste or flavor, right? So I want you to think about these five sounds as ice cream sounds and all the other sounds you've learned or all the other sounds you're gonna learn are cookie sounds there's only five ice cream sounds and the rest are cookie sounds all right so let's um follow the arrow we're gonna we're gonna say these sounds in the direction of the arrow the reading direction from the left to the right so we're gonna start here with this ice cream sound and we're gonna end with this ice cream sound so let's say the sound the letter sounds together the ice cream sounds together ready starting here go eh. Eh, eh, ah, uh, good job, all right? So these are the five ice cream sounds. Remember, all the other sounds are cookie sounds, all right? Because we're, we're, we're pretending or we're making believe that we're making, that we're making ice cream cone words, all right? So these are all the cookie sounds that we've learned so far, all right? So let's follow the, the arrow, the reading arrow, in the direction from left to right. And we're going to name these cookies, these, these cone sounds, these cookie cone sounds, starting here to here. Right? Ready? Go. Mmm. Shh. Mmm. Shh. Ooh. Err. Good job. Good job. All right. So. Moving right along. Now we're going to play a game. We're going to play a make-believe reading game. It's called Make the Cone. We're going to make the cone, right? So in order to make the cone, we need an ice cream sound and we need a cookie sound, right? And we're going to slide them together to make the cone, all right? So I want you to pretend that this cursor here is your finger. You're going to slide this ice cream song, cone. I'm sorry. You're going to slide this ice cream sound into this cone sound. Ready? In. So we slid the I sound in, the I ice cream sound in, into the N cookie sound. In. Good job. All right. Let's slide this ice cream sound into this cookie sound. Ready? Go. On. Good job. See how this ice cream sound is on this cookie sound? Wonderful. All right. Let's slide this ice cream sound in into this cookie sound. Ready? Go. If right, if you hang in there with me and you figure and you and you and you see in your mind what we're doing, again, reading's gonna be so easy. All right, so we're gonna slide this ice cream sound eh, into this cookie sound. Mmm. Ready? Go. Am. I am so proud of you. I see that you're getting it. Good job. All right, we're gonna slide this ice cream sound up. Uh, into this cookie sound. S Ready? Go. Us. This is us blending sounds together, right? We're decoding. All right. All right. So, level one students, this is in. This is going to be in your homework um, packet. This is this page is in your homework packet. So, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line. You're going to match the ice cream cone words that we just made above to the correct word um, here, to the correct word here, right? So, you're going to match these sounds. You're going to draw a line to match these ice cream cone sounds to the to the correct word. All right. Now, levels two and three. Back to you again. Levels one, pay close attention because in a moment we're gonna all do this ex this ex this exercise together. But so levels um two and three, we're gonna do a step called something called make the sandwich. We're gonna make word sandwiches, okay? So we're gonna take a big word like this one here on the screen, right? 
And we're going to take this word and we're going to turn this big word and we're going to break it down into three small ice cream sandwiches, right? So we're going to we're going to break it down into small bite-sized word sandwiches, right? So we're going to take this big word and we're going to break it down into three sandwiches, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to do something called make the sandwich. We're going to make the sandwich, right? Or we're going to we're going to make the sandwich, or I should say we're going to sandwich the vowel, right? Just hang in there, hang in there with me, right? And so the way to um, sandwich the vowel is this, right? You're going to find all the ice cream sounds in this word, and you're going to circle them, right? So there are three ice cream sounds in this word. The first ice cream sound is a. Ah, the second one is a ah, again, and the last one is i, eh, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to find the ice cream sound, and we're going to find the ice cream sound, and then we're going to sandwich them between two cookie sounds, right? In other words, we're going to make the sandwich, right? So I want you for a moment, I want you to imagine three three word sandwiches, right? We're going to make the sandwich. Gonna, every time you find an ice cream sound, you're going to sandwich it between two cookie sounds, right? So I want you to visualize making the sandwich, all right? So your visualization should look something like this, right? So you're going to find the first ice cream sound, eh, and you're going to sandwich it between the cookie sound on the left and right. What is the What does the sandwich say? Fan, right? So then you're going to find the next ice cream sound. And you're going to sandwich it between two cookie sounds, right? Between the t and the s-t-a-s, right? And then you're going to find the last ice cream sound, right? And you're going to sandwich, you're going to make the sandwich, right? Between two cookie sounds, tick, right? So the, what we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to, we're going to blend, or we're going to slide all three sandwiches together, one at a time, right? So it would be fan tas tick and then let's slide it fast fantastic right fantastic so we're going to learn how to take a big word and break it down into bite-sized sandwiches make sense all right good job all right hang in there with me all right da -da -da -da. all right let's go back to level one for my level one students for a second right so we're, you're going to do the same thing my levels two and three did but i'm going to take it another step further, right? I want you to imagine that you're eating your words, right? So this is this is the way that you take a big word and you break it down into a little bitty bite-sized sandwich. You're going to eat your words like, like the cookie monster, right? All right. So remember the five taste sounds? The taste sounds are the ice cream sounds, right? A, E, E, A, A. All the other sounds that we've learned so far, they're cookie sounds, right? Remember we talked about cone sound? Because cones are just cookie cone sounds, right? So think about the cookie sound. All the other sounds that we've learned are cookie sounds. Let's go over the cookie sound one quick time, right? Mmm. Mmm. Good job, all right? Ice cream sounds and cookie sounds. So now you're going to do just like the levels two and three students. You're going to make the sandwich. We're going to learn how to make the sandwich, okay? Da, 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 da. So levels two and three, check back in for for a moment. So this let's let's do the steps again. How do you make a sandwich? How do you make a word sandwich? First thing you do is you circle the ice cream sound, and then you look for the cookie sound on the left and the cookie sound on the right, and you make the sandwich. Okay. All right. So we're gonna take this word, right? These three, these three sound pictures. When you slide them together, it's it says the word fun, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that you're squishing the ice cream sound between the two cookie sounds, right? So in order to the way you make the sandwich, you circle the ice cream sound, and then you underline. You make the sandwich by underlining the cookie sound on the left and the cookie sound on the right. You make one. You, you underline the sounds. Fun, right? Right. So I want you to imagine the word fun as an ice cream word, right? See, you see the the uh sound, the ice cream sound in the middle, and the two cookie sounds, right? On each the f sound on one side, on the left side, and that n sound on the on the right side, right? We made the sandwich, right? We sandwich the vowel, or we sandwich the taste sound. All right. Good job. All right. So hang in there with me, right? So now. 
this is a part of your homework activity. This is for um, this is for all three three levels, but especially for my level one students. So this this is called a word sandwich builder. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to um, use this word sandwich builder to make ice cream sandwich words. Right, so. What you're going to do is you're going to find the, the ice cream sound here, and you're going to you're going to write it right here in the on the ice cream sound, right? And then you're going to find the cookie sound on the left, which will be the v, and the cookie sound on the right would be which would be the n, right? So again, this is in your homework packet. You're going to use these word sandwich builders to make the sandwich, right? Or to sandwich the ball, right? Now, for my levels two and three students. This is also in your homework packet. You're gonna do the very you're gonna do the very same thing, but instead of um, using an ice cream word builder, I said a word sandwich builder, you're gonna build it in your mind. You're gonna step one, you're gonna circle the vowel or the taste sound. Step two, you're gonna make the sandwich by by drawing a line from one cookie sound to the next cookie sound, sandwiching the vowel. Then you're gonna slide all the sounds together, you're gonna to read the word, okay? So that's in your homework packet as well. Moving right along, all right. Now let's talk about word sandwich types. So let's pretend that we um we were at um that we're operating an ice cream or I should say yeah an ice cream word sandwich shop. Okay, so there's different types of um ice cream sandwiches, right? Just like if you ever go to an ice cream store, you might get um a double dip or a single scoop or a double scoop or various types of ice cream um treats all right so let's talk about the the um the six types of word sandwiches right so again so the very so look at the screen here right so look at this word here fun fun now fun is a whole sandwich and i want you to to think about why this is so while i'm, while I'm talking and the reason this is a whole sandwich is because you have an ice cream sound up uh, and you have two cookie sounds on either side, one, on, one cookie sound on, one, on the left side and one cookie sound on the right side. So fun, that would be a whole sandwich. Now, this word on would be a half a sandwich. And we're going to call this an inside out. I want you to think about this as an inside out sandwich. And the reason being is you have an ice cream sound off, but you only have one cookie sound, right? Mmm. Right. So what's missing? One of the one of the cookies is missing. So this is a half sandwich. Right. So this is kind of like an uh, inside out sandwich. Right. All right. All right. Now, look at this word. Now, this word is pronounced no. Now, for my level one student, this word looks like nah. And we're going to learn in lesson 15 why this word is pronounced no. This 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 letter sound ah it's not acting right. It's kind of clowning around. It's playing around, not making its its, its real sound. So we're gonna learn how to identify when a sound is playing around. What's what I mean by playing around? You know, you ever play around and maybe your mom or your dad or if you're in school and your teacher or your mom says stop playing, stop playing around, right? Stop not acting the right way so to speak right so we're going to learn when a sound is playing around or clowning around i should say but right for my level two and three students this word is pronounced no right and it's a half sandwich as well now why is this a half sandwich hmm? now is it a half sandwich because one of the because it's not whole right there's no cookie there's the ice cream sound oh the letter ah <laughs> the the sound the, the sound picture ah uh, which is known as the letter o right don't worry about level one students we're gonna get to the letter names shortly but so it has an ice cream sound and one cookie sound right so it's a half sandwich as well all right now there are some words that has extra cookie sounds at the beginning of the sandwich right so if you were to sound out this word these four letters is these four letters or sound pictures it's slim and look at slim right so if you look at the um the word slim on your screen here it is the ice cream sound right so if we were to sandwich the sandwich the vowel we would we would just sandwich the u i and m sound right but we'd have an extra sound left over. So we're going to learn how to identify the extra sound. So this is a word with extra cookie sounds at the beginning. 
right? But now look at this word. This is a word. It's pronounced or sounded out. If you sound out these four letters, it's self. And in this word, the extra cookie sound is at the end, right? Because if we sandwich the vowel, what's the vowel in this word? The vowel sound is the eh sound, right? And if we sandwich the vowel, we would sandwich it between the sound and the ooh sound, but we got an extra sound at the big at the end. Self, right? I know I'm talking a little fast, but when you get your homework packet, slow it down and think about what we were going over in today's class, right? So this has an extra cookie sound in the at the end. Now this is called a double dip sound. That's two scoops of ice cream in the middle. All right. Now this word is pronounced rain, rain. Now for my level one students. Hang in, there, hang in there with me. You, we're going to learn uh, a decoding. Uh, how can I say this? <laughs> we're going to learn a code to let you identify or know when these two vowel sounds or these two taste sounds together, when they're together, they make a new sound. A, right? Rain. But for my level two and three students, um, just for now, you can see it has two ice cream sounds in the middle. And a cookie sound on the and it sounds between two cookie sounds, the er and the n, mm, right? So again, there are six types of word sandwiches um, that we're gonna learn over and over and over in future classes, all right? So this is a part of your homework activity. So all you're gonna do is I, I took away the the, Im, the the pictures or the images. So all you're gonna do here is you're gonna circle the ice cream sound, and then you're gonna make the sandwich by underlining. You're gonna make the sandwich by by underlining the um the cookie sound on the left and right, right? Or make the sandwich by underlining in in a half sandwich. You're gonna make the sandwich by um underlining the the cookie sounds. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. All right. So that's in your homework packet. All right. So this is also a homework packet activity, but we'll, I've, I've done the first one with you. So this is your SOS bookmark. Now, SOS stands for sound out steps. So when you get your homework packet, you're going to look at the three steps. First step, you're going to circle the vowel. You're going to sandwich the vowel and then you're going to slide the sounds together and to um, sound out the word. So in this particular activity, all of these um, sounds are half sandwiches, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to circle the vowel, sandwich the vowel, sound it out. So I did the first one for you. I circled the, the a vowel sound or the taste sound or the ice cream sound, ah, and then you make the sandwich, on. Right, and each time when you're doing your homework packet, each time you um, make a sandwich, I want you to practice using the word in a sentence. Okay, good job. All right, so this is also in your homework packet. And remember this guy here, who remembers who this guy is? Alpha, here's Alpha Ear again. So, what you're going to do is help Alpha Ear find the hidden half word sandwich. These are all half word sandwiches, right? So the first thing you do, you're going to finger slide till you find one of these five special sounds, right? A, A, I, A, A. When you spot one of these sounds, you're going to circle, you're going to circle the, um, the vowel or the taste sound, and then you're going to make the sandwich on. These are all half sandwiches, all right? Good job, all right? So moving right along, all right? This is also in your homework packet, right? So now we're gonna sandwich the vowel, vowels or we're gonna make the sandwich, right? So you're gonna use your SOS bookmark. Again, SOS stands for the sound out steps, and you're gonna follow the steps. You're gonna circle the you're gonna circle the, the taste sound, you're gonna make the sandwich, and then you're gonna sound out the word sandwich, right? So I did that first one for you. So we circle the taste sound, and then you're gonna make the sandwich by drawing a line. By drawing a line from one cookie sound to the next sound, we're going to sound it out, right? So these are whole, all of these words in this um, activity is are whole words, right? And so then you're going to move right along into the um, to the hidden word sandwich, right? So you're going to help Alpha Ear find the hidden sandwich, right? So these are whole sandwiches, right? So you're going to finger slide. You're going to Circle the circle the taste sound, and then you're gonna make the sandwich, and you're gonna sound it out, sis. Okay, all right. So moving right along. All right. Now, 
this is something for all the parents and reader teachers in your room, right? So now we're going to practice our sound out fluency. We're going to make sure that you can that you can read or I should say you can sound out or blend and slide one sound to the next and read these words, slide these sounds just like that, right? So for parents and reader teachers, what you're going to do for the phone, there's three pages, right? You're going to make two copies. You're going to make two copies um, and you're going to listen to your child. You're going to listen to the, your child as they go across and sound out each word, right? And if they're having any difficulties or any challenges with the sound, you're going to mark them and then go back through and practice, 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 all right? But kids, you and I today, we're going to sound out these words, right? And for my levels one students, there are 33 words on, on this particular activity, right? So you have learned, you can, you can read by yourself 33 words. So you, we've increased, I should say, your reading vocabulary by 33 words. So you should be very, very proud of yourself, right? So stop talking. Let's start doing it, all right? So I'm going to highlight the word. You say it, and then I'll say it. Go. In. Us. Am. If. On Elf Jam and Run Ram Elm Sis Mom, fun, van, men, fin, mom, ram, man. Rim Ma'am Sam Jim Son Nun Sin Okay for my levels two and three, my, I should say for my levels one students, these are more challenging blends, maybe, but I think you can do it, right? So, so far we've been learning how to sound out three letter sounds, right? So these next um, six words are either four letter sounds or five letter sounds, but I think if you take your time, and you and you blend it, you slide one sound into the next for my level one students. I think you can do this. My level two and three students, let's do this, alright? So sound this out. Self. Good job. Alright, let's try this one. Film. Like the film when you in your camera. Well, that's the old days, right? But if you're making a movie, there, there's film, right? Film, all right? Let's try this one. Slam. Good job. All right. Remember that, that which sound? Eh, eh, eh. Let's try this one. Slam. Good job. All right. I believe this is a type of dessert. Hmm, something you eat. Flan. All right, little drum roll. Da, 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 da. The next one is five letter sounds, right? We're going to blend five letter sounds or five sound pictures. One into the, the next. Now, levels two and three, I know you can do this, but levels one, right? My brand new students, take your time, and we're going to blend. I want you to just slide one sound 
into the next sound, into the next sound, all right? You try it first. Did you say seven? Seven. Good job. Seven. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. Now, this is um, a sound out test. I had to use the word test, but this is just a sound out review just to check in and make sure that um, you can slide these sounds together. These are not real words, right? You can just slide them together like that. They're not real words. They're just blending sounds together, all right? So we're going to do the first line, line or two together, just to, so you can get an idea how to do this in your homework packet, right? So I'll do it first, and then you repeat after me. Fa, nen, faj, fli, im, nuff, fa, Nej. All right. So you so you kind of get the um, the gist of how to do this, right? So what um, parents and reader teachers, or or for all my students, you're gonna ask your parent or or a reader teacher in your house to help you with this activity, and you're just gonna go through and you're gonna practice blending one slide sound into the next, right? Good job. All right. And make sure that you master this before you before we take the next class, right? So this is just page two of the same activity, right? You're going to be blending the one sound into the next. And again, you practice, practice, practice until you can just do it without thinking about it, until it's smooth. Because our next class is the, um, the sound pictures are going to get a little bit more difficult. So you have to um, make sure that you can master this, all right? All right, so... Slide sound. Let's talk about slide sounds one more time. Slide sounds are your friend because slide sounds quickly make you a faster reader. Good job, right? Slide sounds quickly makes you a better reader, right? And also slides, five of the most important sound pictures, vowel sounds or taste sounds, right, are slide sounds. Eh, 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 ah, uh. All right, good job. Moving right along. All right, so this is where we are now. We have just completed all 14 slide sounds, right? And we've talked about the five special slide sounds, right? The taste sounds, right? So in our next class, we're going to be right here. We're going to, we're going to start on class number seven, and we're going to learn something to call bounce sounds right but before we get there we, we are, we've taken six classes right we've only got 44 more classes to go right so here's this the, the letter sound codes map right so we're gonna start right here our goal is to get right here right but let's just let's do a little housekeeping let's just remember that each and every class is linked to the last class so in the, in every new class you got to show what you know right and you can't show what you know if you didn't practice the last class so it's really important that you practice 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 that you don't skip any classes and you don't miss any classes all right and again because when we start getting down here in the more harder classes of the difficult letter sound codes might not be able to keep up on it might not make any sense so instead of having to go back over and 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 practice or review just practice 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 each class before you start a new class okay that a deal good job all right da, 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 da. all right so now this is where Tutor Vanessa asks a favor. I need a favor. I need you to tell a friend. I need you to text or call a friend. Tell everybody that you know about these pre, I'm sorry, pre, about these free private tutoring classes, all right? So if your parents or reader teachers are not in the room, I want you to say, Mom, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, anybody. Tell, I want you to make sure that they tell everybody about these classes, right? And... Oh, Vanessa, I just I just got a brain freeze there, right? And for my 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 grandparents or some of my parents who um 
you're, you're having difficulty sending a text and including the link to the, to the class and the text, just tell them to, to go to the website, sweetsoundsofreading.com. And on this website, you'll see a TV, the TV channel lineup of all the classes that, that we've learned so far posted on this website and all the homework um, links as well. Okay. Moving right along. All right. So, for all the parents and reader teachers in the class, right, I want you to take a moment to like this particular class and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, okay? And for all my students, right, that, that are still in the class, I want you to remember these two things, right? I want you to remember that practice makes perfect. Okay, so you need to practice, practice, practice because in order, because when you practice, you're showing what you know, right? And when you're showing what you know, you become a child of the code. And for children of the code, there's no such thing as a word. To, there's no such thing as a word too hard to read. Okay. So now, with that being said, I'm kind of all over the place here, right? We are complete. See you in the next class.